Hello and welcome to the Joy of Development. This is episode 4 of our VR snowboarding project. Today we're going to be finishing up our ground controls, and we got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. We'll jump into the ground control function, and the first thing we're going to do is reset spin set. This is an air control feature that we'll cover in the next episode. But we do need to set this up in ground control so that our character is primed to do a spin trick anytime they leave the ground. All we need for this is our spin set variable, a branch, and our set spin set node. Connect it so that if spin set is true, it toggles to false. Now this next part is probably the most complicated part of the project as it stands right now, but bear with me and I'm sure you'll get through it. We've got our two big tasks down below, but I'm going to start with the end result so that you have a better idea of what we're trying to achieve. We want to redirect our current velocity to align with the snowboard, and we also want to combine any new acceleration to our current velocity. So we'll need to upgrade our character movement's velocity to the sum of two vectors. After that, the first vector we're going to be working on is our character's acceleration. We'll interpolate our acceleration with an alpha from pitch, but first we need to invert it so that negative values add forward acceleration. We'll divide that by our acceleration alpha divisor, I have mine set at 180, and the result will be our acceleration alpha. Now we're going to use that to build our acceleration vector. We'll need our top acceleration and a lerp. Plug the top acceleration into the B pin of the lerp. Now plug in your alpha, and we'll want to multiply that by our snowboard's forward vector. My top acceleration is set to 500, but feel free to play around with this. Now that we've got our acceleration, let's plug that into the first input pin for the sum of our total velocity. Next, we want to redirect our existing velocity to align with the snowboard's forward vector. First, we'll combine the absolute values of our snowboard's pitch and roll to get the total rotation. Divide the absolute value of the roll by the total rotation for your alpha, and you can add an adjustment multiplier to make turning more or less responsive. I use 0.5 for mine, but try playing around with it. So now we want to use this alpha to lerp between two vectors. The first will be our current velocity, and the second will be our current speed projected to our snowboard's forward vector. The first thing we want to do is check if our current velocity is directed towards the nose or the tail. So we'll need our character movement velocity and our snowboard's forward vector. Then we'll normalize the velocity and get the dot product between the two vectors. We'll check if the dot product is equal to or greater than zero. If it is, we need to move forward, and if it's not, we want to move backwards. We'll connect this to a select float node, and if it's true, we'll select positive one, and if it's false, we'll select negative one. Now we're once again going to need our snowboard's forward vector and our character's velocity. We'll get the length of our velocity, and that'll give us our character's speed and we want to multiply our snowboard's forward vector by the speed to get the projected velocity. And we want to multiply that vector by the float we selected in the previous step. We can then plug our final result into the B pin of the lerp vector node. And with that all done, we can now connect our result to get our final velocity. Now if we demo things, you can see that we're able to move around. However, while it may be hard to see, my character is stuck at its current rotation and doesn't follow the snowboard. So we have one last thing to set up before we're done with our ground controls. Let's grab our actor's rotation and our snowboard's world rotation. And we'll also want an add actor local rotation. We'll get the delta rotation between our two yaw values. And we're going to create a rotation alpha by dividing it by 180. We're then going to lerp the amount of rotation. I have mine set to 0 and minus 3, and that seems to work pretty well. But feel free to play with this. Plug the resulting value into add actor local rotation yaw, and we are good to go. Now when we play the game, my character continually tracks the forward vector of the snowboard, and it does so at a reasonable pace that doesn't cause VR sickness. The end result is a more fluid and natural feeling snowboarding experience. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be finishing up our character's air controls and giving them the ability to do spin tricks. If you enjoy the channel, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell icon, and smash that like button.